Uh, good morning, Friday. Uh, got up first thing, loaded a video up. Uh, I had something to eat and I uh, started cleaning up in here. And uh, it hit me pretty quick that I got a problem. I need some freaking room in here, man. It's just too congested. I got too much stuff in here and stuff on the go at the same time. So something's got to give. Uh, so I've come up with a plan and uh, I think it's a good one. And uh, we'll see how it goes. But uh, well, instead of explaining it all, I'll grab the camera and uh, do a little quick walkabout, show you what's going on and uh, what my plan is. So let's do that. Okay, so what well, I'm it's such a nice day. Actually, got the big door open for a change. It's only the second time this year. Anyway. My 49 is going to go outside. Uh, you know, it's it's clear-coated. Weather's not going to hurt it. It's just a lump in here right now and taking up space. So I get it outside temporarily anyway. And uh, that clears up a whole bay, really. And that solves my problem. So I'm going to end up uh, probably putting the cab from the 51 in that area. Uh, also, the axle that was under the truck, I'm going to cut the springs off of it and see if I can temporarily rig it up underneath my 38 coupe. And then uh, take the old torque tube diff that I cut out of the truck as well, temporarily hook that up underneath, even if I weld it right to the, to the frame or whatever, I don't care. As long as it rolls, I just want to be able to move it. Right now, it's another lump that's immovable, so... It's in my way. I want to get that moving. Uh, but before I can do that, i got to move the Model A, of course. And before I move the Model A, these are the two doors I was talking about yesterday. Uh, 55 Chevy doors came in from Saskatoon. Really, really nice doors. Excellent shape. One little ding in that door. Uh, that's it. I mean, underneath is mint. All the glass and everything is in them. So uh, that's for my 56 four-door to two-door conversion project, which will be coming down the pipe. And then once I get done shuffling all that stuff around, I'm going to yank the motor and transmission out of the truck. Uh, like I said, take the cab off the frame and pull the rear end, springs on all complete. Get that out of the way uh so that i can get the frame up on saw horses and uh, work on it comfortably um i want to be able to flip it over you know do underneath clean everything up super nice and uh, get it coated in epoxy so that's the plan so i'm gonna start moving all this freaking crap around i gotta get some rolling wheels on the back of this thing and uh yeah start making start making room man so that's the plan for today. I'm not going to film all that. Maybe I'll hook up the camera when I'm ready to get up to work on the truck, pulling the motor and all that stuff. So we'll see you then. Okay, so it's now Saturday. Uh, I spent the whole day yesterday uh, rigging up axles underneath the 38. Uh, they're welded in temporarily. They're just the repurposed axles off the 51 Chevy. And... Uh, then I dug the 49 out of the corner of the garage, put my big fat wheels on it. So that was rolling and, uh, you know, swept up and cleaned up a bit in here. And uh, this morning I got my son up, uh, or not up, but out. Uh, he's, he's 12. He's not really into this stuff yet. I'm hoping he takes interest eventually, but we'll see. And I uh, figured I'd give him some, uh, some exercise and some fresh air. So uh, we rolled cars around and move the truck out and brought it over here and all that stuff and uh you know i had to put the uh the front clip from the chevy somewhere it was laying on the ground so i i just stuck it on there <laughs> what a weird looking beast that is but uh anyhow so there was another big pile of junk right where the the front end of the chevy is it took that pile and moved it over here to this pile so now i got a massive pile of junk over there but whatever you know it's uh out of sight from the road which is a good thing and uh, it looks clean and neat. But the bonus part is this. Look at all the room I've got, man. This is fantastic. Outstanding. So uh, now I can 
pull the motor and transmission out of the 51 get the cab off the frame and uh start finishing up the frame i'll get the rear springs and axle out as well but uh after after the uh the cab is off and uh yeah we're uh we're golden good to go so i'm just gonna keep on trucking and uh yeah, I'll set up the camera when uh, I'm getting more stuff done. Okay, so there we go. I got the body off the frame. I just used my hoist and uh, I ran a couple of uh, pieces of square tubing on each side. So it lifted it evenly and didn't crush anything. And uh, yeah, slicker and slicker and shit. So it's, uh, it's off there. It's on a cart. It's rolling. I'm going to clear out an area over here and uh, put it off to the side. So I've got the chassis left. All I have left to do on this is... Uh, knock the rear axle out and springs and all that and then I have just a bare frame and then I can finish welding and doing all the things I need to do on it to get it uh, ready for, for epoxy so that's where I'm at and uh, so I'm going to shuffle some stuff around and uh, set up the camera once I'm uh, once I'm set up uh, to where I want to be <clears throat> man I tell you what a what a difference when you have room it's uh it's awesome things just go so much slicker and quicker uh so now i'm going to put the frame back in a place where i want it and uh i'll just move the camera a little bit so you can see what i'm doing Move so easy. Yeah, that's about the right spot. Okay, so like I said, I put it in the right spot and the right spot meaning that i can use my hoist to uh get it up in the air when i'm ready uh so next thing i'm going to do is pull out the uh rear leaf springs and axle get that out of the way uh, i'm going to haul a bunch of this stuff upstairs and put it away some of this crap i've got here and uh you know i still have tons of room cab is out of the way uh i'm going to be sanding on these fenders tonight anyhow and it's supposed to rain for a couple of days, so I'm going to have to bring the Model A back in. And uh, I have plenty of room for that. So, yeah, we're all good. We're, we're good to go. Um, also, I want to get that six-cylinder engine out of the freaking way, man. Uh, soon. So, that's where I'm at. And uh, I'll come back once I get that rear end out of there. I thought I'd uh, try, you know, getting some wrenches on this thing and getting out of there. But... Uh, <laughs> there's no chance a sea solid won't budge so uh i'm gonna put a bunch of fire on it and uh see if i can free it up um yeah and once that's out the back ones are easy i can just cut the uh cut the pins on the shackles and the whole thing will drop out and you notice that six cylinder motor is moved so uh yeah that's where i'm at uh probably set up the camera on time lapse get the uh, the fire show started, um, and there's where I put the motor underneath, basically underneath the body. So 
I, I hit my knees on, on that freaking fan blade, I don't know, a couple of hundred thousand times before I smartened up and moved it. But, uh, you know, that's how I roll. <laughs> anyway, so, uh, yeah, I'm going to burn them up, uh, get, them, get them good and cherry red and see if I can break them free. Toughest friggin' bolts I've had to take out in a while. Almost two hours messing around with that. Uh, but the big ones in the front are out. Uh, all I've got to do is cut the pins at the shackles at the back. Five minutes in the morning and that's out of there. So it's getting late. Uh, I want to kind of wrap up the video tonight so I can get it out tomorrow. So I'm going to move over to the front here. A couple of things. Well, it's obvious i got a, I got a ton of welding and grinding and cleaning to do. I'm going to start from the very front tip of the frame. And work my way back uh but in the end of the for <laughs> on my last video one of my viewers uh commented that i should check the control arms the upper control arms because i might have to clearance the frame and he is 100 percent correct so these two holes line up with those two slots okay and that's the reason they're slotted is your adjustment that's how you do your front end alignment when it's all together. So when you put them on, you know, the holes, sure the holes line up. You can see that. But it only goes back so far. So I'm losing about, I don't know, three quarters of an inch of my adjustment. So there's the problem area right there. So what I'm going to do, what I have to do, is cut this back down and in, box it in. Clearance it. I'll try and make it look like it's all part of the motor mount deal clean and uh, Yeah, that's just the way it is So I've got that to tackle as well uh, My bad. I wish I would have got the cross member kit before I put my motor mounts in this wouldn't have happened And that explains why on the you know the in instructions <laughs> That they came all the way past the cup and then up uh, For that very reason for the clearance. So anyway it is what it is. I'll work through it and uh, and get it together. And that's it. So can't change it now. I've already done it. You know? So uh, instructions are good things. <laughs> anyway. Okay, so I'm going to wrap this up in a minute and uh, have a cold beer. <sighs> so there you have it. Uh, man, those two uh, those two bolts really really kicked that crap out of me. I mean, you know, I'm wondering where the hell all the blood's coming from. You know, <laughs> I didn't even feel it. I still don't know what I, what I did. Anyway, uh, yeah, so got a bunch done. I mean, it's bare frame now, and uh, a lot of welding, a lot of grinding, a lot of cleaning. Uh, you know. Nothing glamorous, just dirty work, but uh, it's got to be done. And then once I get it all done, cleaned up, flipped over, do the underside as well, uh, get epoxy on it, then I can take all the individual pieces of the suspension, the, the springs, all those things, clean them up, paint them up, and put them on one at a time. Uh, we'll get the engine painted up and dressed up with some, you know, some chrome goodies and some 
nice looking stuff. Uh, paint the transmission, uh, all that stuff. So uh, I have new uh, axle seals and uh, bearings for the rear end coming. Also a uh, full set of rear brakes coming. We're just going to go with the drum brakes in the rear. I've already got the disc for the front. Uh, yeah, dress up the motor, get that all cleaned up. That's ready to go in. And, uh, you know, this chassis will be rolling and, and uh, looking great in no time, man, complete. So I can even start running brake lines and all sorts of things. So uh, we're moving right along. It's looking good. Uh, I've got a, you know, we got a crappy weather day tomorrow. It's supposed to rain all day tomorrow. So I'll be welding and uh, grinding on the frame pretty much the whole day. So I should get a good chunk of it done. I'd like to get at least from the front tip to maybe behind the transmission cross member complete done. So, uh, you know, that's a lot of dirty work, a lot of grinding. I'll be filthy, but uh, it's got to be done. Uh, new subscribers, thank you. Uh, and especially that comment telling me about the, the control arms. Uh, I do appreciate that. Uh, you know, I make mistakes too. So I would have caught it, but I probably would have caught it after everything was painted and done. And then I would have to hack at it and fix everything and clean everything up again. So, uh, good, good catch. And, uh, thank you very much for that. And please leave comments guys. I, uh, I enjoy, enjoy reading them and, uh, and appreciate them. And it helps out the channel, you know? So, uh, if you haven't subscribed already, please do hit the little bell. You know, the routine, uh, tell your buddies, tell your chums, spread the word, uh, things moving right along. Great. Uh, yeah. So Tuesday, I should be able to get the model a outside and then I can, uh, get on those model a fenders. I gotta, I gotta get them done. They're taking up space. I want to get them on the car and you know compact everything I'm, I'm getting used to having some space now and i like it uh, yeah so that's about it i guess uh if you're not doing anything else get out in the garage and build something man later guys